Hi, I'm Roy Huntington, editor of American Handgunner Magazine. and Welcome to our ongoing series of little short training videos. Now, today what we're going to do is we're going to talk about how do you safely unload or how do you render safe a bolt action 22 rifle that has a tube fed magazine. Today we're going to use this very nice old Remington Model 34. It's a very classic 22 bolt action rifle and I've gone ahead and made sure that it was unloaded before we started but remember if you pick this gun up and it looks like that you really don't know if it's loaded or not it doesn't do you any good to trust the safety because you still don't know if it's loaded or not so keeping the firearm safety rules in mind and in particular two keep the muzzle pointed in a safe direction and then keep your finger outside of the trigger because if you don't manipulate the trigger chances are pretty good the gun won't go off the first thing you want to do with any kind of a bolt action rifle, and maybe you saw our bolt action hunting rifle video, is you just simply manipulate the bolt just like that. Now if there's a loaded round in there, it will have ejected, probably. But just to double check, you want to look in the chamber and make sure there's no additional rounds. Now with this particular kind of 22 rifle with a tube feed, it presents another challenge. What you need to do keeping the muzzle in a safe direction and don't put your hand over the end of it because we still don't know if this gun is fully unloaded or not. What you need to do is manipulate the tube plunger. Usually you have to twist them or squeeze them and then you'll actually remove this follower. And what this does is it actually pushes the 22 cartridges down into the action so it'll cycle. After you take this out, what you would want to do then is simply invert the gun and any cartridges that are in this magazine should fall out. Now, I like to give it a bit of a tap, you know, kind of just really make sure you're going to knock them loose. But you're not done yet. Now you want to go ahead and work the bolt a few more times. Remember, muzzle in a safe direction, finger outside of the trigger. But you want to run the bolt a few times to make sure you eject any rounds that may have been caught right at the end of the magazine. So at this point, you're about 99% sure this is a safe gun. Well, you know, I'm Roy Huntington, and thanks again for tuning in this time. Now, this was not a comprehensive training video on how you manipulate a gun like this, but at least now you've got some basic knowledge and you either know I need to learn more or if you do encounter a gun like this, you, you at least have enough sense that you'll be able to open that bolt safely, take that magazine tube out, and make sure that it's really unloaded before you handle this gun. I'm Roy Huntington and thanks for watching.